Welcome back, everyone. Firefighters worked to put out a massive fire at a Cherry Hill strip mall earlier today. Now investigators are searching for what started that fire. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan is in Cherry Hill with a look at what we know so far. Cleve. Well, I know our eyes will fixate on the Starbucks behind me with all the broken glass, but the rest of the strip mall actually fared much worse. The roof is completely gone after what officials describe as a very fast moving fire. I got oh. construction workers scattered as flames took off Friday morning at the front building of the Short Hills Town Center in Cherry Hill. Starting around 10:45 a.m., fire spread from the center of the strip mall to both ends of the building, causing the roof to collapse within minutes. The whole, yeah, the, roof the whole the caved roof in. caved. It was an incredibly fast-moving fire, uh, rapidly expanded. As soon as the roof collapsed, uh, the fire. Uh, erupted even more went to end to end from the building. Chopper 3 over the action as the Cherry Hill Fire Department called two alarms and with the help of companies from neighboring towns they brought the fire under control in about an hour. <laughs> Officials say all six businesses including a Starbucks and the classic cake bakery were closed at the time of the fire due to work being done on the building. Witnesses tell us it was electrical work and the power had been off all night. They believe the fire started shortly after the power was turned back on. The kids actually saw it first and were like there's fire. Jocelyn Tomaszewski owns Busy Bee Christian Family Daycare, which is directly behind the Ravage building in the town center. We could feel the heat inside the very front windows. We immediately put everyone in the back. As they followed safety protocols and notified parents, they leaned into their faith-filled activities to keep the kids calm. We went to, to battle with prayer and singing songs and praising God and just being thankful that the building had been closed and that it was mostly empty. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. No reported injuries. Live in Cherry Hill, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you very much.